Do you know there's a criteria? Yeah, yeah, they have okay. to do miracles. They have miracles. Yeah. But according to the Bible, that's not enough. Even a false yeah, prophet no, can do miracles. No, no, there's, there's more criteria. I can't remember. Yeah. Off the top of my okay, head. I will tell you the criteria in the Bible. Here we go. Got a Bible with you? Yes, I have two of them. Okay. Which one do you take? Well, we've got King James. <laughs> yeah, I have King James. Bring King James up, eh? Yeah, King James. That's right here. Deuteronomy 18. Yeah. Uh, stick it, stick it. Okay. Here it says what? You want to read it? Okay. All right, but the prophet who presumes to speak a man wait, word, word to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded of him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that prophet shall die. Um, okay. So, can I, all right. So wait, can I ask you a question just before I inter an interject? Yeah? yeah. Is Muhammad dead? Yeah. Okay. But Moses died. Is he first prophet as well? Say that again. Moses died. No. Yeah, yeah. Moses okay. died. Yeah. Can Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't make none of them false prophets because they died. All right, now fine, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah but I'm just saying as well. All right. died. <laughs> but why would they the, the final prophet? Jesus no, no, wait, 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 go, go on. We're going to deal with that. All go right, on. perfect. Go on, go on. Uh, but the prophet, uh, da, 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 da. There's no da, 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 if you say, no, 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 if you say in your heart, how shall we know that the word which the Lord has spoken, when a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if he does, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that the thing that... That's the which word which the Lord, the Lord has, spoken, has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously, <laughs> you shall not be afraid of him. Okay, so if a prophet prophesies, okay. yeah, if a prophet prophesies and it comes to pass, it doesn't come to pass, what is he? It's a false prophet. If it, if it does come to pass, what is he? Okay. True prophet. Let us analyze Prophet Muhammad. Okay. Prophet Muhammad, 1400 years ago, he prophesied about specific people, not randomly, specific people. He said there will come a time when you see the barefoot Arab man competing in building tall buildings. Bear in mind, when the prophet... Are you going to take it? Give it to me, no, man. No, no, Look at all that life. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Isaiah. Isaiah, anyway. yeah, uh, that's what I'm coming to go into as well. Isaiah, don't worry. Uh, what I'm saying, look, so Prophet Muhammad prophesied, are you listening, yeah? Yeah, yeah? About the future, about specific people. It will come a time when they, when they start competing in building tall buildings. The barefoot Arab man. So we, that time when the Prophet Muhammad prophesied that, the Arabs were not known to do that. Those who were known, the Persians, the Romans, the Egyptians, the Greeks. Let me ask you, maybe you know, where is the tallest building in the world? Singapore. Uh, yeah, China. No. No, Dubai. Dubai. Oh, yeah, nice. Dubai. Singapore took over. No, 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 no. Saudi's taking over now. Yes. So my question, Saudi. Saudi now is going to take over, yeah. So my, uh, bro, 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 we're going to start debating. If your point is on prophecies, if your point is on prophecies, like, uh, uh, basically validating whether a prophet is authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not me. That's a bit of a Bible. I mean, whether the worst is or not, but you're trying to back that up. No, no, I'm saying. Yes, what I'm saying, yeah. But that is, that's what I'm saying. So you're validating all of his authenticity by the, by, by the, the passage. Yeah. So there's two things. Either I could say that a different prophet, known as the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, has made prophecies that have actually come to pass. Which I believe that. Do you so accept that? What, we accept what, that. What, 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 what we're trying to get to here. But is that not, doesn't contradict. Yeah, there's a contradict. That. But Listen, there is a contradiction. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait we'll come to that. Here, we're not trying to get to whether this prophet and this prophet are the same. Or whether no, this prophet no, can... No, 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 oh, no, no we already know... Well, can I speak? Miracles, I'm speaking. miracles don't validate anything. Because right now, I can perform something in front of all of you, like, and you'll be like, rah, God, God. what's going on? I could be using magic. It could be the devil that's, that's using true, that's, true. Who knows? that's true, that's true, that's a good point. So those are not very good validation points. Bro, so you should speak to the Bible. So now, wait, 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 there's one thing here. One thing, either you have to reject Prophet Muhammad, or you reject the passage in the Bible. Because the passage in the Bible clearly says, if you say in your heart, which the word has, which, which, which the word that the Lord has spoken. If a prophet speaks in my name and the thing does not come to pass, that is the word which the Lord has not spoken. So I'm using your book as a criteria, even though I'm just doing it for the sake of hey, yeah, uh, so I'm saying for the sake of argument to prove Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. If but, Prophet, but uh, uh, let me hear me, hear me, no, hear me, hear me, hear me out, hear me out. My prophet, hear me, hear me. You know, let me. No, but let's speak about anyone. Speaking of. No, no, you missed the point. Exactly. No, but so that's what I'm saying. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's speaking about. No, anyone. but no, it's speaking about. You, 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 you,
I was me and him. You must know, brother. No, 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 Muhammad claimed to be prophet. Yeah. So you go to tell you how to differentiate between a true prophet and a false prophet. Okay. So if true... Well, his point was not a true prophet or a false prophet. That's why you should point. The true prophet yes, and the... There's no... Not, there's no like, old, you brother. see what I'm saying, yeah? No, 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 listen to what go I'm on. saying. I understand everything you're saying. Okay. There's two paradigms we're talking about. There. Okay, go on, one explain. One thing we're talking about, on the one hand, this is the main issue we're talking about. Yeah. Is it Christianity or is it Islam on one hand? Okay. And on the other hand, you're talking about who, how, how can you differentiate a real prophet? Like you said, we can't tell if a real prophet is real, whether they die or not, because Muhammad died, Jesus died, died Moses died. died. I don't know if Jesus died, died anyway, Moses died. died. Yeah. Yeah. So how are we going to yeah. know that? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. not what we're talking yeah. about. We're not talking about the strength of prophets. We're not talking about how you differentiate prophets. We're talking about this world and this belief, this faith system, and this faith system, which is so similar. Sometimes I don't even understand why, but that's what we're talking about. Yes, what I'm saying. That's actually, really and truly, sometimes I think to myself, right, if everything was okay, if it didn't really matter, then I can just do what I want. Do you get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, God's going to know my heart. But that's not how it goes. It's, true. it's not just about God knows your heart and this is this and this is that. There's, there's certain you know things what I was, that we uh, have sorry. to Do you know what I was doing? Yeah. I was doing that, logically speaking, if we establish Muhammad's true prophet yeah. by using this criteria, the logic dictates you have to follow but prophet. You can't. That's what I'm saying. You hey, so, so, brother, this. do you reject this passage? No, do you reject this passage? But do you I reject, reject it. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, listen to Let me finish. Like you were saying to go him, on. let me finish. Oh, go on, let me finish. No, That's no, great. So, don't lie. So, go on, go on. I reject it go as a validation not, not, yeah, for the authenticity no, 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 no. of Muhammad no, 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 no. being a prophet, of yeah. Jesus being a prophet. That's what I reject. But your book, the scripture. You're missing the point. The scripture is trying to tell you if somebody comes in my name and he was talking about himself that red writing indicates that it was jesus speaking no no jesus so, hey, what, old testament saying, there's an old testament jesus speaking about the old testament. i'm wrong here i'm wrong yeah, yeah, but okay. listen to what i'm that's saying, good. What I'm saying. if somebody comes in my name in my holy name in the name that's represented by this book yeah the teachings and doctrines that go with this not any other book not generally if it doesn't go with this, with this that book. person mm. is not coming in the rightful name okay. even if you come in jesus name even if you say even if i come here and say oh, you know what i'm going to do something in god's name i might be the biggest pro okay so you I said you said like, like, i can be so convinced okay bro let, let me mention so you're you saying so anyone that come and gets this book it, can't, it has to be false Anybody, yeah. yeah, under that scripture, yeah. anybody that comes with a doctrine in the Go, name of, yeah, oh, let me yeah. and guess it. But I have to speak because he be no, speaking no, no, a lot. We'll yeah, no. yeah. No, no. I'm saying, look, which book you're referring to, the Old Testament or the New Testament? We already said we're talking about the Old Testament. You talk about the Old Testament. Many yeah. people go crazy. This is the same brothers I advised them before. This is all guy for anyway. You talk about the Old Testament, yeah. okay? The Old Testament, let us use it as a criteria. Yeah. According to you, Jesus, if you don't know, I will teach you about that. Jesus opposed the Old Testament. Do you know that? He That's came to abolish the law of no, no, the Old Testament. No, no, it's not I didn't come to abolish, yeah. he said. Sorry. To fulfill it. Yeah. But and no, so that we do not have to live under certain laws anymore. No, but listen, he, he, didn't go against he abolished the, the law. He, because without the Old Testament, uh, we would have no new. Brother, you're missing you the point. In the Old Jesus, look, look, G in the Bible, in Hosea says, God is not a man. Okay? In the book of Numbers, book of Numbers, page 23, verse 19, yeah. he said, I'm not a man. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man that he sh should change his mind. Yeah, exactly. So according to the Old Testament, God is not a man. Okay. But according to the New Testament, Jesus was what? God and a man at the same time. That's the, the Old Testament. Testament the that's, that's contradiction. Right? That's the Old God is not a man and the New Testament is a man. Wait, wait. No, I hear what God you're saying. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. So, yeah, 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 it's yeah. fair enough. If you look at it in a very oblique view, yeah, it goes against each other. If you don't dive into the word itself and understand or overstand, sorry, as some people with this kind of hair would tell me in my ends. You get what you I'm saying? Okay, what I'm trying to say to you is, yeah, of them, you just understand anyway. Just have comprehension. Yeah, with the... 
you see, you said all these things on my head. Is <laughs> Sorry. It's right. Yeah, go on. What are we talking about? Old Testament. We're talking about the, old, the, the, old, the Jesus clearly, according to you, I don't believe that, opposed the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament, God right. is not a man. He didn't oppose the Old Testament. Nah, he didn't oppose the Old Testament. Okay. He's standing on the Old Testament. All right? What is it? It's time, it's time, isn't it? Little time, oh, yeah, causing man. trouble again. Time and chan. No, good. Oh, go on. Oh, well, well. Do, do you believe that in the Old Testament he prophesied Jesus? I believe that, yeah. Okay. I don't, but I don't, let me clarify something. Yeah. As a Muslim, I believe in the Old Testament. Yes. The information within the Old Testament, the New Testament. Okay. However, I don't believe everything within it. Yeah, but why? I'll tell you why. That's a good point. Because as a Muslim, I believe, that's what I was going to prove yeah, yeah. But before you cut me. Because as a Muslim, I believe Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. The logic dictates God will not choose a liar to convey his message. So we if I establish Muhammad as a true prophet, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me dictate, you should follow him where he came with. That which he came with, that God is not a man, that Jesus never died on the cross, that, that the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians, changed their scriptures. Right, okay. Okay? Then let me ask you a question. Through your logic, God would intervene for any crazy madman that wants to to be a snake oil, snake oil salesman to people and take people's money or take people for a ride, right? He would intervene directly and kill that person. If he claimed, if such a person claimed to be a prophet, which any one of us here can do, yeah. you're saying through your logic that God would himself step in and say, or kill that person. No, I'm not saying that, no. God will expose him. God doesn't have to, look, God destroyed nations without him coming to the of universe, course, yeah. okay? But what I'm saying, let us analyze something. Okay. If I'm a king of a country yes. and there is someone going killing people in my country, yes. claiming that he's my ambassador, yeah. logic dictate I should do what? Expose him. Of course. Okay. Are we more wiser than God? No. Okay. So if we have a prophet Muhammad, which historically speaking, he will overpower the Jews and the Christians, who be, be, they believed overpowered that the overpowered the Jews and the Christians. They had many countries that uh, uh, when Muslim came, Prophet Muhammad Sallam, his companions took over. By the force, yeah. by force. No, no, all the same by force. By Malaysia, the, the biggest population, okay. they came to Islam. There's, uh, South Africa or East Africa, they came to Islam just with business. Okay. They never with force. Okay, but my point here is again. Force or not, my point is that how God will aid the false prophets to overpower his beloved one, as you claim, the, the true religion, and the false religion overpower the true religion. Not just for one year, since Prophet Muhammad came for 1400 years. Yeah. Islam is overpowering Christianity. Christianity is dying. That's if you go to church today, yeah. you see only what? You don't see English people in church. Yeah, you church is just, empty. إذا أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والتعليق ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الآن